All right, good morning, good morning. I hope you enjoyed your extra hour of sleep that you got today. Uh, today is November 1st, also known as All Saints Day. And it's a, a great day we remember all the people whom, whom God has loved and whom Jesus has died who are with the Lord now and who we'll see again come the last day. So, um, ooh, we have a good story today. We have a very good story, a very fun Bible story, but before we get there, let's do our opening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, so <clears throat> our story for today happens around 400 years almost after Joseph and his brothers. Because what happens is Joseph eventually tells his brothers and his dad, everyone, come on, live. don't wander around in Cana. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't wander around in Cana. Come, come move to Egypt. And, and they're treated well in Egypt, and they grow and they grow because it's been hundreds of years, and they keep having lots of kids, and they grow, and there's lots of, lots of the children of Israel living in Egypt. But then something happens. Egypt gets conquered by the sea people, the Hyksos, and everything was chaotic for like 30, 40 years. And then a new pharaoh takes back over, and you know what he decides? I don't like these strangers. And you know what? These, these children of Israel are too much like these other people that just conquered us. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make them all slaves. And so the children of Israel, and there's, there's lots of them, hundreds of thousands of them, living in Egypt, all get made into slaves. And even that's not going so great. And the, 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 the Pharaoh is worried about there being too many of them. So he says, I'm going to make a rule. Any newborn Hebrew babies, because that's what they were, they were called the Hebrews, will be tossed into the Nile. So if you, if you had a baby boy, you couldn't keep him. You were supposed to throw him into a Nile. Into the Nile River, the great big river of Egypt. And so, one Hebrew woman gave birth to a baby boy who would be named Moses eventually. And she thought, hmm, I have to throw my child in the river according to the law. What can I do? Well, she came up with a plan, and it involved a basket. And this is a very good plan, because you know what God's going to end up using? This child, Moses, to save Israel. So, I will let you learn the rest of the story and see what's going on, but we're going to end up talking about Moses for a bit. So this is an important one. And this is a smart mom at hand paying attention to what the rules actually say. So, with that being said, I will let you prepare for that. We will sing very quickly a song, and I'm going to sing... Not Jesus looking. I'm going to do something different today. I will sing a very simple song called the B I B L E. That spells Bible. All right. So I, I I will sing it once, and then I'll want you to try and sing it along the second time if you don't know it. Because I know some of you might not know it or might not remember it. So ready? ready? <clears throat> actually, actually, let me put let me put this down. Always important to to, to get any nerves out. To take a good deep breath. On the count of three. One, two, three. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Very important thing, because whenever we're talking about God, I don't base it on what, my, what I feel or what I think. I base it on what the Bible says. Very important thing to remember. So we'll sing that one more time. And then we'll pray. So let's sing again. On the count of three. One, two, three. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Ah, that worked. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, 
We thank you for keeping us safe and protecting us. Help us to grow and help us to learn that we might serve and help the people you put into our lives. This we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If I remember, I have a really neat story about Moses growing up, but I'll tell that later. So, all right, everyone, have a good one, and I'll see you when I get to see you. Bye.